part four. Quick go! What are some of your favorite books? Um, I like the book Me Before You. Uh, I like the book uh, The Chemist. Okay. I like the, the book Black Swan. Is that the, um, the one with... Impact of the Highly Improbable. Yes! That's a good one. That's a very good book. Yes, that one. The CEO of Amazon, he apparently tells everyone like in the management team to read that. So, do you have any uh, apps and resources to recommend? Um, I think just, well now, I would think just Google. <laughs> That's funny because even Cornell last thing he's like Google. I think Google is one of the easiest things you can use. Yeah. It's so easy to get resources available to you and I just think it's great. I think Google needs to sponsor me because everyone on the show is just saying Google, Google, Google. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a morning or evening routine? If so, what is it? Um, I think when I was doing the project, obviously going and checking soil moisture, um, heights of plants, I think that was a routine thing you had to constantly do. So you kept the consistency? So, yes. So if there's, if there's one thing that you could teach in the world, what would it be and why? Like if I was a teacher? No, anything. Oh. Even if you weren't a teacher. Um, I think just teaching to uh, the youth that it is possible to achieve um, your dreams and achieving uh, s having solutions to problems even if you are young you you often look at things in different perspectives that other people don't that's how i try to explain to my grandfather my ideas but he doesn't get it <laughs> at least now i'll show him your interview he'll get it <laughs> so what are your top three principles that have benefited you throughout your life i think looking at things from a different perspective than other people do um, constantly persevering when things didn't work out well and just breaking down problems into something that you can achieve. So they say you're the average of five people you spend most of your time with. So what are the po positive characteristics uh, that you admire the most in the people around you? Well, in my close family, I think my, my sister would be too look at things um, critically my brother would be to look at um, to look at things in a practical perspective M my dad would just be to just look at things that are possible you can actually take place because obviously he he shot down a lot of the ideas I came up with first um, for my mom it would be to look at things that you can achieve obviously she was one of the um, one of my mentors when I did my project. Um, yeah, that was how many? No, it's four, oh, but it's okay, fine. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> so, what what are the habits uh, that you have that have contributed to your success at such a young age? I think it wasn't really a habit, but the idea that you can achieve, even though if it's something big, I think that was it was it's not really a habit. It's more of a um, a principle that you have. And, and how do you define success? I think just setting a goal and achieving it. <laughs> and what are your plans for the next three years? Um, studying in the, obviously next year would be matric and after that studying something, even if it's overseas, somewhere like Stanford, MIT, oh, nice. or something in the scientific field like engineering or something like that. So, what is the final piece of advice that you can tell our head starters that will be useful for the rest of their life? Um, I think it would be, it has, it, my advice is um, perpetuated by the quote, dreams don't work unless you do. I think it says it better than anyone else. And what does it mean to be a head starter with your dream? I think to be a head starter, you're ahead of everybody else. You. Like to be younger, it's important to start start early. If you start early, you have the rest of your life to improve upon it. Exactly. Thank you. That's why we have the show. So, so Kara, where can people find you? Um, I have uh, Instagram. It's Kara underscore Nurgan. 
uh, they can follow me there. I also have Facebook, they can follow me, Kiara Nurgan. Head starters, I'm putting that all on the show notes. So just thank you so much, Kiara. It was an absolute pleasure. I learned so much in terms of problem solving and planning. Thank you so much. So remember, head starters, you don't have to wait on your dreams. You can start now. Hey, Head Start, I hope you absorbed a lot from this episode. So remember to subscribe and let's try get a million likes, a nice realistic goal. If you want to check out the full episode as a podcast, then check out the links below. Bye. No, we're not going to, we don't have to put that there. <laughs>